Well, hello, my spooky gumdrops, and welcome. So I've wanted to make this video for a little while. Again, as I mentioned, I'm not leaving YouTube. I've just been super busy, so essentially the update part of this video is for the past three weeks. I have been hydro depresso. Um, that's just something that happens to me every winter time because I think of my deceased grandfather who was like father to me and passed away back when I was a teenager. And, you know, unfortunately death really does hit me pretty hard. But along with that, I've just been majorly busy and trying to keep my mind focused, so I apologize for not uploading a video. Although the last video that I recorded was about a month or two ago. So anyhow, I'm going to go ahead and do my makeup off camera. I uh, just wanted to show you essentially this is what my face is looking like right now. I, I seem to be breaking out somewhere over here. I am highly allergic to dust, so some of this is equivalent to dust as well as my sneezing and all that. I figured let me make another video um, and continue down the path. I, again, have wanted to make a video for a little while, but it wasn't until one of my chiefs at one of the hospital systems that I work for, which, shout out to you, if you're watching this video, you know who you are, asked me, how did you go from goth to this? And I was like, what do you mean? And he's like, well, you just, you look different. But, again, if you know who you are, Thank you very much for encouraging me because it's finally gotten me up off my butt to do this video. Last thing I want to say is um, the makeup look that I'm going to be doing is actually uh, highly inspired today by my dress that I got that you'll see later in the video in just a little bit. Um, but it's also inspired by this, which the camera might not pick up on it. Oh, sorry. Um, but it is from the brand KVD that I got at TJ Maxx a while back. This is called Exorcism, and I did pay only six ninety nine for it at TJ Maxx. That is essentially what we're going for today. Is a goth purplish red, still with more purple, I'm sure. But it's a dark, dark red burgundy color, which is what my hair used to be once upon a time. I'm going to go ahead and do my makeup off camera, and I will come back to you guys, so see you in a second. I also forgot to mention to you guys, speaking into my mic here like a professional, I'm going to be watching uh, Dr. Mike um, in the background. So, yeah, he's going to be on the background. He's one of my favorite guys. If you guys are looking for comedy and the medical field together, he is definitely the one that you want to go to, so highly recommend him. Go give him a check out. Okay, so I did look similar to this before, but this time I did not use purple on the outer. I actually used a combination of black and a darker pink to get that color. You may be wondering why my fingers are bare and why I have in the past couple of videos. And that is specifically because I have actually wanted to show you guys these pieces for a while since I've had them. Um, I've only worn them all out one time, but they're all rings, so let me just show you. As you guys can probably tell from the title, um, I have a couple of pieces from Alchemy England. So let me just cover my address right there. As you can see, I got these from Amazon from a company called Fly Clothing, but they are an Amazon storefront as well. Getting right into it, this first piece that I have was actually inspired by Simply Spooky, but this one is called the Black Soul Ring. It comes in the alchemy pouch that you can see here. And it does come with the authentic little booklet. From Alchemy Direct. Really quick, that is what this one looks like. If you guys were wondering. Also, by the way, I broke the snail. I did get this in a size 7, as my ring fingers on both hands are size 7. This next one that I got was specifically for either my left or right um, first digit, aka my pointer finger. Uh, this is called the Alchemy England. Hand of Death Ring, I believe. 
But this is a battery. I got this in a size eight and a half because especially when my hands swell like right now. Um little Mr. Bat here actually fits perfectly. So it's good to know your ring size, guys. If you don't know your ring size, definitely go and get sized. But it's a little bad guy. This last string that I have will be again for either my left or my right hand, depending. Um, and this is the death ring. I do believe I... It doesn't actually say this on here. It's weird. But I do believe that I actually did get this in a size 8.5 again, which I will list their sizing um, beside me. Because the way that Alchemy does it, I guess, the way that they do their sizing is in alphabetical. This is what this looks like. Don't focus on my face, focus on the ring. Hopefully you can see that. There's literally just the skull. And I just, I thought this was super cute. By the way, the links to all this stuff will be in the comment, or in the description box down below. I think that I like at least these rings together. I probably wear either my silver ring from Spencer's, my coffin ring, or I have a skull ring which would actually match this, so I could mix and match. But the very last thing that I want to show you from Alchemy, I did not actually get from Amazon, so I will leave the eBay link to that down below as well. But I figured I should let you know, this actually did come from Tel Aviv in Israel. So you got to support small businesses um, and you also have to support like third world countries that may not have all of the resources and the support that we do currently. <laughs> With that being said, Alchemy's website was probably about $100 US uh, for this next piece that I'm going to show you, which is not a ring, it's actually a necklace. And this whole haul was actually inspired by this necklace, which was inspired by Angela Benedict. Now, I know a lot of people have controversial feelings about her, so we're not going to go too far in depth. She is actually where I learned a lot about the Gothic subculture that is surrounded by music. Again, you can call yourself a goth and not left listen to Gothic music, so long as you understand the history, the subculture, all of that behind there. But everybody has their own personal opinions, and we all have to learn to accept that. This did come from Tel Aviv, cover my address again. But as you can see, it is from Tel Aviv. And this is the Dragon's Lure necklace, which if you do watch Angela Benedict, or if you know of her, you may know what this necklace is. It is pretty much a choker. Again, it has the seal of approval, what I like to call it. And then it has like the sticker on the back. So let me take this off and I'll come right back and show you. So really quick, here it is up close. Let me get a little bit closer. Hopefully you guys can see that pretty well. Get the detail on that. Like that is amazing. Again, on Alchemy's website, I do believe it is going for about $100 to $125, and that is not including shipping. Um, so definitely go and check out the seller. And I was so amazed to know actually how this came undone, and I just showed you guys kind of. Um, but when I saw Angela Benedict try, er, wear it, I was like, does it go around the back? No, there's nothing to clip back there. And then I noticed... It's a magnet. I think I'm so amazed. And they do classify this as more of a choker piece. I can still get away with wearing a typical standard choker and still wear this as well. So I just, I thought that was kind of cute. I wanted to show you guys. And I still have another part of this video, which is, again, sponsoring small businesses, because that's what I'm trying to do lately. I just want to show you really quick before we move on. This is kind of how I would style. The next part of this haul, as mentioned, is going to be from another small business. It's from Foxblood. What can I possibly have gotten off of Foxblood that's accessories? We'll start with the kind of basic things that I got. Two that I was kind of most excited for. Which, they're not that bad. Um, where are these headbands? We'll start here. So, this is the Wonderland headband. It's just a headband with a bow. I'll show you guys that one in a second.
And then this one is again the headband with a bow, and it says it is the recently deceased headband. Now I believe this one is currently out of stock. They may possibly bring it back. I don't know, it is Foxblood and they only do things in small batches. They may bring something back like that around Halloween time if these bows continue to sell out. I do believe the Wonderland headband may still be available though. The next thing that I got uh, were these nine live socks that glow in the dark. I can already tell that they are going to glow in the dark because they have like that, that UV color to them, if you guys can see that. Usually I show this at the end, but I just thought this was cute. This is one of their prints. It's Krampus, which is ironic because of something that I got in the next haul that I'm going to do for you guys. But Foxwood has their store. Uh, but it's orange and black specifically because the stuff that I got was on clearance for Halloween in total. I spent $100.25, which isn't bad for small business, especially when you see some of the stuff that I got. Oh, and I just noticed too, the bow is actually removable. So if you just wanted to wear like this simple headband, you actually could. I got it specifically for the bow. It's just good to know um, that if you ever want to remove the bow or adjust it, which way, any which way, you absolutely can. I did not know that though. So if you wanna say have it off to the side here, you can actually see that a lot better and it's actually making this look a lot better than it actually looks in real life. I used to have a beret way back when, but I don't have a beret anymore. Oh, I lied. I haul these. I have three here and then after this will conclude my haul. So this one, I got because if you guys remember a while back I have strange cold creepers that this will go amazingly with especially during Halloween time. And I think I forgot to mention but it's literally just called pumpkin face beret. It does come with this nice piece of cardboard so you know these will definitely keep their shape. And what I would definitely suggest, just like new rocks or any type of boots you have, keep the cardboard. I learned my lesson, or the wrapping paper or whatever it comes inside, because again, it will help keep its shape and it'll help with the elasticity, especially if you're not wearing them all the time. For these other two, I'm just gonna insert a clip with my natural hair because it'll probably look better anyway. This next one, this is the pumpkin face beret in orange. But it's basically the same concept again. We'll go nice with my strange cult uh, creepers any time of year around because Halloween is every day for us guys and spooky people and dark stuff. The one that I was most excited about was this one, and this is the Halloween Hypnosis Beret. If you guys don't know already, Beetlejuice is one of my favorite films. As soon as I saw this, I found a Beetlejuice. Thank they all come in cardboard, they all come packed up nice and tightly. And I just want to say shout out to Foxblood for being a small business. I believe it's female owned. Um, and I'm very, very excited about my order. But I hope you guys really liked this video. If you did, please be sure to give it a like. Subscribe if you do like my content. I make a million and two different videos out here. Um, I'm gonna try and make one at least once a week. Please don't fault me. Um, other than that, guys, I promise I'm getting out of my espresso depresso slowly but surely. And again, Thank you to my one chief who helped encourage me to make this video. Which, by the way, the Kat Von D lipstick I have over top of the NYX XXL. So if it's definitely coming off as more of a purple or a plum, that's why uh, it's not actually true to tone. If you guys are interested to see a video on that, leave it down below and I will do a review on all of my lipsticks. But until next time, guys, I will see you later. Stay safe, stay you, 
keep on rocking and i will see you next time bye